Hello everybody, I am Dr. Lina Chandra presenting our e-content on the topic Fast Moving Projectile Satellite for the program BSC Physics. Dear students, we know that a projectile is an object that is thrown with an initial velocity and it subsequently follows a path determined by gravitational force. Example of projectile are uh, battered baseball, bullet fired from a gun, etc. Now, satellite is thought to be a projectile because uh, it is a high speed projectile. A satellite is often thought of as being a projectile which is orbiting the earth. But how can a projectile orbit the earth? Doesn't the projectile accelerate towards the earth under the influence of gravity? And as such, wouldn't any projectile ultimately fall towards the earth and collide with the earth, thus seizing its object? These many questions arise in our mind. To answer this, a satellite motion is an example of high speed projectile. Yes, of course. A satellite is simply a projectile that falls around the earth rather than into it. Only when it has sufficient tangential velocity needed for orbit. And with no air resistance to reduce the speed, the satellite goes around the earth indefinitely. First, an orbiting satellite is a projectile in the sense that the only force acting upon an orbiting satellite is the force of gravity. Most earth orbiting satellites are orbiting at a distance high above the earth such that their motion is unaffected by the force of air resistance. Indeed, a satellite is a projectile. Second, a satellite is acted upon the force of gravity and this force does accelerate it towards the earth. In the absence of gravity, a satellite would move in a straight line path tangent to the earth. As per the law of inertia, since there is force of gravity acts upon a high speed satellite to deviate its trajectory from a straight line inertial path. Indeed, a satellite is accelerating towards the earth due to force of gravity. Finally, a satellite does fall toward the earth, only it never falls into the earth. The reason behind this is the geometrical fact about the curvature of the earth. We know the earth is round, that is the earth curves. On average, the earth curves approximately 5 meters for every 8000 meters along its horizon. In order for a satellite to successfully orbit the earth, it must travel a horizontal distance of 8000 meters before falling a vertical distance of 5 meter. The second fact is the gravity. Let us consider a baseball pitcher standing above a building and throwing a ball. If there is no gravity, the ball would move in a straight line path. But since there is gravity, ball will follow a curved path and it will reach 5 meter below the dashed line because of the gravity within its one first second of its motion. So whatever the speed may be, the ball will fall a vertical distance of 5 meter below the dashed line and this distance has been calculated by Galileo as d is equal to of gt square for an object traveling with constant acceleration. Since the value of g acceleration due to gravity is 10 at, a, at poles, the, for t is equal to 1 second, the distance is found to be 5 meter. So a horizontally launched projectile falls a vertical distance of 5 meter in its first second of motion. Combining these two factors, to avoid hitting the earth, an orbiting projectile must be launched with a horizontal speed of 8000 meter per second. When launched at this speed, the projectile will fall towards the earth with a trajectory which matches the curvature of the earth. As such, the projectile will fall around the earth, always accelerating towards it under the influence of gravity, yet never colliding into it since the earth is constantly curving at the same rate. For further understanding, let me explain with the video. So 
this is the uh, diagram drawn by Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton understood the motion of a uh, uh, satellite. He compared the motion of a uh, uh, moon with the cannonball and he has drawn the, uh, these, this diagram and he has calculated the speed of the cannonball which will fall around the earth rather than into it. Similar to his drawing, let us also draw a sphere and at the top of this let us draw a mountain and which is well above the earth at atmosphere that therefore there won't be any air drag and uh, place a cannon there and project a cannon ball so it will move in a straight line if there is no gravity but since there is gravity and therefore the ball will follow a curved path and hit the ground it's fire another cannon ball with high speed again it hits the ground firing with the higher speed it will move in a curved path and hit the ground if the speed is very much higher then the cannon ball will follow a circular path instead of curved path and it hits the cannon on its way thus Isaac Newton compared the motion of moon with the cannon ball and he has calculated the speed of the uh, cannon ball how much speed it would be if it has to follow a circular path instead of hitting the earth so let us find uh, the speed of the satellite or speed of the cannon ball here uh, if the speed is v is equal to how much how much would be the speed let us consider the above said points first point an object falls 5 meter in its first second of fall a freely falling object always follow falls 5 meter in its first second of fall and the second one is the earth's curvature earth's surface curves 5 meter vertically for each 8000 meter tangent so this is 8000 meters and this is 5 meter so combining these two let us find out the velocity now here i am going to place a tripod stand above which i am going to mount a laser so when laser when you shine laser light from here it would be seen like this so it would be seen 5 meter above the earth surface at this point so at 8000 meter from the tripod stand it would be seen 5 meter above now in the place of tripod stand you remove the laser and place a cannon fire a cannon ball let us say first let us consider the speed v to be uh, smaller and uh, let us say, say it is equal to 2 km per second and fire a cannon ball with the speed it will move 2 km in the first second of its motion and it uh, hits the ground 5 meter below the straight line therefore it would make a trench in the ground as it hits the ground it makes a trench in the ground yes if I increase the speed twice that is 4 km per second for the first second it will reach 4 kilometers but at the same time it will also make a trench in the sand hitting the earth again if we further increase the speed to be 6 km per second then the cannonball will again make a trench 
This time the depth of the trench is small when compared with the previous one. Now you could now realize what the speed would be if for the next 8000 meters per second it will reach uh, this point without hitting the curve. So you could now understand the speed of the cannonball should be 8000 meter per second or 8 kilometer per second so that it will never hit the ground and it will follow a circular path. So with this idea let me show you the animation. So if the launch speed is less than 8000 meter per second projectile falls to earth. If the launch speed equal to 8000 meter per second, the projectile orbits the earth in a circular path. If the launch speed is greater than 8000 meter per second, the projectile orbits the earth but in an elliptical path. Thus, we can uh, we have calculated the speed of the satellite that has to be launched so that it, uh, it falls around the earth due to acceleration due to gravity. Now another point is the positioning of the satellite. Since the speed of the satellite is 8000 meter per second or in or it is equal to 29000 kilometer per hour this speed is where seem to be very high and any object with the speed when it travels in earth's atmosphere it would burn. Therefore sat space shuttles are launched to altitudes of 150 kilometers or more to be above the air drag. So there should not be air resistance, the air resistance is almost totally absent. But even in the International Space Station as shown in figure, experiences on some air drag which is uh, compensated for with the periodic upward boost. Final notes about the satellite motion. So we have calculated the speed of the satellite which has to be projected so, so that it would fall around the earth rather than into it. And therefore the speed was found to be 8000 meter per second even for uh, that is above only the earth surface if the if we project the satellite at a greater height above the earth surface the speed may be uh, less that the orbital speed required for circular orbit is less than 8000 meter per second second there is an upper limit for the speed of the uh, satellite if launched with too great speed then the projectile will escape from its gravitational influences and continue in motion without actually orbiting the earth. So this is how a satellite is a projectile which is a high speed projectile and it orbits around the earth rather than hitting into it. So let me conclude this uh, session or uh, content by uh, Sir Isaac Newton quotes. In the celestial spaces above the Earth's atmosphere, in which spaces where there is no air to resist their motions, all bodies will move with the greatest freedom, and the planets and comets will con constantly pursue their revolutions in orbits by the mere laws of gravity. Thank you for listening. Thank you.